Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. For today's video, I'm going to be talking all about the savings challenges that I'm incorporating into my budget journey here throughout 2022. I used to do a ton of savings challenges all the time and I had so much fun with it, but at some point I took them out of my budgeting routine because I was struggling to meet all of my financial goals, paying off debt, putting money into sinking funds, savings challenges, paying my bills. It was all just a lot all the time. Um, so for 2022, I really wanted to add back some savings challenges, but I didn't want to overdo it. I didn't want to make it a struggle. And so I decided to keep it pretty darn simple and incorporate three savings challenges that I'm going to do throughout 2022 so they will be like yearly savings challenges um, and I gave each of them a specific purpose and then I also gave myself permission to add in one or two savings challenges each month that are just like 30-day savings challenges or month-long savings challenges um, that way I could be constantly changing it up and keep it fun without it being overwhelming so we're gonna talk today about the savings challenges I'm going to do throughout 2020. They'll happen every single week. And then we're also going to talk about the savings challenges I'm specifically doing for January. And actually I said savings challenges, but it's really just one. So throughout the month of January, I'm going to be focusing on four savings challenges. The first one being my high low temperature savings challenge. I created this savings challenge. I do have it available in my Etsy shop. You can purchase the um, savings challenge bundle and it will give you four different printables that you can use um, to do the savings challenge and it's based on the weather. So this one that's in front of me is like the, the 52 week version of the high low temperature savings challenge. And the way that I'm going to do it is when I sit down once a week to add money to my savings challenges. I'm going to be doing it on Tuesdays. I'm going to look at the weather for that day and I'm going to save as much money as the high or low temperature savings. High or low temperature rather. Um, and the way that I'm going to decide that is based on the color of the square here. So each of these squares represents a week in the year. There should be 52 of them if I did it correctly. Um, and if that week the square is blue, then I will save as much as the low temperature. And if that week the square is red, I will save the high temperature. So during the winter, this is gonna be pretty easy and it's gonna be some lower numbers. But when we get into summer, um, you know, I might be saving $100 in a week. So that's exciting. I'm really looking forward to doing that. And what am I gonna use this money for? This one I actually haven't decided. It will either go towards debt or it'll be rainy day savings. I don't have a, a specific purpose for this cash that we'll be saving each week. I don't have any idea how much it's gonna be by the end of the year. So it's really hard for me to focus on a specific goal for this one. I just thought it would be fun. And so we're gonna do this throughout 2022. And um, we are gonna save our first amount of money today. So with that in mind, let's just go ahead and see. So today is Thursday and I am going to try to sit down every single Thursday to fill in my savings challenges. For the first week of the year, we are gonna save the low temperature. I'm just gonna open up my little weather forecasting app. I use Weather Underground in case you're curious. So the weather forecast for today then, the high temperature is forecasted to be 25 and the low temperature is forecasted to be 12. So we're going to save $12 today. So I'm just going to take my little pen and write that in. $12. And I'll actually go ahead and put the date, and today is January 6th. All right, so that is our first savings challenge. 
I'm going to need to go to the bank to grab that cash, so I will get all of the cash kind of at the end, and then we'll stuff our envelopes. So that's the first savings challenge we're doing. For the next savings challenge on my list here, I have the $1,000 savings challenge, and this is a 52-week savings challenge from HassleFreeSavings.com. I have done this savings challenge before. And the premise here is that each week you just choose a square, you save that amount of money, and by the end of the 52 weeks, you'll have saved $1,000. So this is pretty easy peasy. Um, I've decided to use this savings challenge as a way to save up money for December because you guys know, last month for December, I went way over budget and it was, by the time everything was all said and done, it was about $1,000, so I thought, Saving $1,000 throughout 2022 would give me a little bit of a cushion in my budget in December when my spending goes off the rails. So that's what I'm going to use the money for this savings challenge for. I'll just save it up throughout the year and then I'll have it when I need it in December. Now, something I want to make clear though is that if we have a, a slow week in my budget, um, maybe we don't bring in as much money as we thought we would or maybe we have a higher spending week for whatever reason maybe the bills came in a little bit higher the very first thing that i will knock off of my budget to-do list is savings challenges so you know with variable income it's kind of difficult to incorporate savings challenges i really want to do them i think they're a lot of fun but if for whatever reason I have to skip a week in my savings challenges, it's not going to be the end of the world. So with that in mind, though, for this week, we are going to choose kind of a medium range number, I think. And I'm going to pull in a little mild liner to color in. This week, we are going to save $12 towards this savings challenge. So I'm just going to color in this 12 and then when we go to the bank we will pull $12 out for this $1,000 savings challenge. Okay, so we got $12 here, we got $12 here, we're up to $24. The next savings challenge that we're going to be doing is the 50 envelope challenge from Sweet Bunny Blessings. I really wanted to do the 100 envelope savings challenge this year, but ultimately I decided that it was just going to be too much. If I wanted to complete the 100 envelope challenge by the end of the year, I would have had to do like two envelopes a week. And you know, that could be a lot of savings in one week. So I decided instead to do this 50 envelope challenge. Um, and the idea then is just to fill one envelope every single week and then by the end of the year or after 50 weeks I'll have saved $1,275. So what is this money for? I'm going to be saving up this money and likely I'm going to do the 50 envelope challenge again next year for it to equal out to be a 100 envelope challenge just over the course of two years. This way I'll never have to save more than $50, but I'll still be able to have quite a bit of savings by the end of those two years. And that money I'm going to use towards my son's car. So Austin's turning 14 this year, so we are two years away from buying him his first car. The price of used vehicles is astronomical right now. And so I want to be planning ahead, thinking ahead, and having money set aside for him. Um, I thought about just doing a sinking fund for him, but ultimately decided to do it with a savings challenge because, like I said, if our paychecks are low one week or we just don't have any extra money to spare, I'll be able to skip the savings challenge and um, not feel too guilty about it because obviously we are still two whole years away. And um, I don't know, I just thought this would be fun. So. I actually did buy a box of envelopes and we're gonna set this up today together for the 50 envelope challenge so let me grab that box of envelopes and we'll go through 
label each one, one through 50, and then we'll just kind of grab one at random and that'll be how much money we save for the 50 envelope challenge. Okay, so I have my little box of envelopes here. There's a hundred of them and I only need 50. So let me count, or let me just start labeling these out. And I'm not gonna do these in any super fancy way. I'm just gonna write one through 50 on here. So I got my envelopes labeled here, one through 50, and I'm just going to choose one at random. I'll probably put them in a box, maybe even right back in this envelope box, and just kind of choose one at random every week. Um, or if there's a week where I know that I only have a certain amount that I can save, maybe I'll just choose it um, based on that. Like if I have $4 left over at the end of a budget, maybe I'll grab the number four and do it that way. But for today, I'm just going to kind of mix them up and choose randomly. Um, I'm not looking. I'm just going to kind of shuffle this around a little bit. And then whatever's on the top here at the end when I'm done yammering, that's how much we'll save. So this is the one we're going to go with. $21. So I'm going to go ahead then and color in the $21 envelope here on my printable. As I mentioned, this is from Sweet Bunny Blessings. I'm going to have all of these printables linked down below so that if you would like to join me in one of these savings challenges, you can do that. All right, so I'm just going to set this off to the side now. We'll flip the page, and like I said, we'll go to the bank at the end. So the very last savings challenge I'm gonna be doing then is my monthly challenge, and this is from Hands and Bands. She's got a YouTube channel as well as an Etsy shop, just like everyone else. I'll go ahead and link her down below. Um, I decided to do this savings challenge because Either way that it goes with this savings challenge, I'm meeting one of my goals. So if you missed my 2022 goals video where I talked in depth about all of my goals, I'm going to link it in a card above. But if you watched that video, you would have seen that I have a lot of goals, but some of my main goals are health and wellness related and financial related. And so I thought that this would be the best of both worlds, combining both. So the way that this works is you set a goal to drink a certain amount of water. If you don't reach the goal, then you remove a dollar from your spending envelope and move it to your savings. So essentially each one of these water bottles is going to represent one day of the month I have set myself a goal to drink 64 ounces of water a day, and if I drink 64 ounces of water that day, I'll color it in, and I will, um, you know, get to keep my spending money. If I don't, then I have to take a dollar from my spending money, and I'm going to pay it towards debt at the end of the month. So, if I drink enough water, then I'm meeting my wellness goal, and that's awesome. If I don't, then I'm helping to meet my goal to pay off my debt. So one way or another, I'm a winner here. And I just thought this was a really unique savings challenge, a good way to combine some of my goals into, you know, something really great. So today is January 6th. So I'm actually going to go in and number these here on the caps to represent each day of the month. Oh, there's actually only 28, so maybe I should have saved this for February when there's only 28 days, but that's fine. Um, you know, it is what it is. So we're up to the 6th, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that 
for the most part I've done a really good job of drinking my water but not every single day did I meet my water goal so my water goal is only 64 ounces for the month of January um, you would think that that'd be really easy to get but not necessarily so on the first I did drink the full amount of water I was supposed to I got more than 64 ounces I was feeling very uh, motivated to hit my water goal on the second I met it as well On the third, I drink enough water. On the fourth, I did not. On the fifth, I did not. And then today is the sixth. The day's not quite over yet. So when we come back next week and check in, I'll let you know whether I hit this goal. But for now, we're going to go ahead and put $2 from my spending money into the sinking fund or this um, savings challenge so that's all of the savings challenges I'm gonna be doing in the month of January so let's figure out exactly how much money I need to pull out of the bank to put into my savings challenges so I'm just gonna pull in my calculator here we're gonna do $12 for the high-low temperature savings challenge $12 for the $1,000 savings challenge, $21 for the 50 envelope savings challenge, and then $2 which is going to come right out of my spending money. So that's a total of $47. So I'm going to run to the bank and pull out this $47. I'll be right back and we will um, stuff the envelopes. Okay friends, so I went and grabbed out the cash that I needed and I also pulled in my little binder that I'm going to be using for my savings challenges this year. So I have in here just these little zipper envelopes that I've labeled with my little label maker. So this will be for the high-low temperature savings challenge. This one's for the 52-week savings challenge. And then this one I just put savings on whatever... Um, random savings challenge I decide to do for the month that'll be the envelope I collect that cash in and then at the end of the month I'll be able to empty it out and put it towards whatever that goal is obviously this month the end of the month when we are done with the um, hydrator pay challenge I'll take that money and I'll make an extra debt payment with it so um, let's just go ahead and get these envelopes stuffed so for the high-low temperature savings challenge, we said it was $12, so I'm going to do 10, 11, 12, 12, and I'll get that put in there, alrighty, and then it was 12 for the savings, the 52-week savings challenge as well. So we'll do 10, 11, 12 for that. Okay, that is done. For the 50 envelope challenge, we have my envelope here and that's going to get 21 so we've got 20 and 1. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what savings challenges you are participating in in the month of January. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new budgeting and lifestyle content here on my channel every single week. I'd love to have you come back and I'll see you then. Bye!